Now at 11, the deadly meningitis outbreak linked to a New England pharmacy is spreading. Tonight, the CDC says more people may have received contaminated injections than they first thought. And we wanted to know if there were any cases in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia joins us now live in our studio with the latest developments. Rhode Island health officials say there are no new developments here in the Ocean State, but we've learned the Massachusetts Attorney General has joined the investigation into the outbreak linked to a Framingham pharmacy. Federal health officials now say 14,000 people may have been exposed to tainted steroid shots used to treat back and joint pain. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports 170 people in 11 states are now infected, 169 with fungal meningitis, and one person with a joint infection. 14 people have died. Investigators suspect contaminated steroids from the New England Compounding Center caused the rare outbreak. The Massachusetts Department of Health says it appears NECC violated state law in producing such large amounts of medication. How are you doing? Universal Pain Management in California is one of 76 facilities in 23 states that receive the contaminated product from NECC. We had been using them for years, um, and uh, this was actually the first time that we've ever received anything that has been, um, you know, tainted in nature, so it was a complete surprise to us. The clinic is tracking down patients who may have been exposed. The incubation period for fungal meningitis is one to four weeks, but the CDC says it may take several months for symptoms to appear. It takes a while for these fungi to multiply and cause their damage, and work their way through that membrane in order to cause illness. The investigation into how the contamination happened is still ongoing. The CDC says 90% of patients who may have been exposed have been contacted. Now, Ocean State Health officials say all Rhode Islanders affected have been contacted. Meanwhile, health officials want people who received injections in the joint to be on alert for signs of infection. I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.